Hey everybody, it's Aleem from Ambitious and 2023 is finally here and a lot has happened in the job market lately that affects how UI designers and web developers approach job hunting going into the new year. Historically, UI design and web dev have been the most in-demand skills to learn. There's 28 million people actively learning these skills. And the problem is that 70% of people learning UI design and web development aren't getting jobs. They're staying on the job market longer than 60 days. And that's because the economic landscape has changed substantially for tech companies. In 2020 and 2021, investors were flocking toward tech companies with high growth speculative goals. Remember metaverse, crypto, NFTs? Remember how Facebook rebranded to Meta and doubled down on building the best metaverse technology? Yeah, well, Facebook was valued at $1 trillion at that time, and now their stock price is down 66% from all-time highs. And in reality, who really even cares about metaverse and NFTs anymore? The free stimulus money era is over, and the economy is slowing down, and we're seeing that given the holiday season. Investors are prioritizing companies with strong, consistent profits and sound business models. And that obviously changes the fundamentals of the job market as well. Hiring managers are taking a completely different mentality. Companies are hiring Swiss army knife players who can wear multiple hats and do more with less. You might be saying, Aleem, all I'm seeing are people getting laid off and companies freezing their hiring. But how does this make sense? Well, you're right. Big tech is laying off left and right and they will continue to do so. But trick is startups are still hiring. Open up TechCrunch and you'll see plenty of startups closing fat VC rounds and strapping up for years of runway to get through the economic downturn. That's what the smart companies are doing. The reason is startups take a completely different approach to hiring. Their decisions are based mostly on ROI, whereas big tech takes an R&D based approach where they don't try to make money immediately. They're trying to gear up to make money in the long term, whereas startups are typically the inverse. They're looking to have a much quicker return on their investment. And all of these are great tailwinds for you as a UI designer or web developer to start learning more no-code tools. You can build websites, apps, automate workflows all without knowing how to code. And that's what will make you a ninja. No-code tools are totally beginner friendly, but that doesn't mean they have a ceiling. Some of the world's biggest companies are using tools like Webflow, Flutterflow, Zapier, Airtable to build and scale their apps. No-code tools are rising in popularity quickly and knowing any two no-code tools can Increase your hourly rate upwards of 60 bucks an hour. Learn Figma for UI design, Webflow for web development, Zapier to link things together, Airtable as an easy database, and Flutterflow if you want to build mobile apps. The no-code landscape is huge and there's plenty of tools out there to do almost anything and it's going to continue to get bigger. This list was just a quarter of the size that you're seeing just a couple years ago. And now startups are looking for ninja people, so someone who may come from a UI design background but loves the idea of turning their designs into life or someone who's a web developer and can actually automate the entire process end to end. So in 2023, we'll increasingly see more ninjas come to play. Imagine being a UI designer and being able to design a website in Figma, but then given your knowledge of no code, you can then go into Webflow and bring that design to life. Or imagine becoming a ninja web marketer where say you know how to build awesome landing pages in Webflow, you can use Zapier to connect your Webflow contact form to MailChimp or Beehive email marketing. And now you can become a ninja web marketer and handle the end-to-end -end process from collecting the customer's information and then remarketing to them. So in 2023, we'll increasingly see job roles like low-code developer and no-code developer pop up on job boards. Be ready for them. And the median wage right now says 83K, but I personally know of companies that are paying upwards of $100 to hire people to build and maintain no-code apps. And also there's plenty of job boards out there that specifically specialize in um, jobs for no-code roles. So I've linked to them in the description and we also have our own in the ambitious Slack community. So make sure that you join using the link in the description and we'll make sure to get those no code job opportunities over to you. And I hope I was able to give you the confidence that you need to gear you up for the road ahead. The job market is tight, but that doesn't mean you can't stand out from the rest.